One way that organisations try to reward staff is through health and wellbeing programs. The theory being that the happier and healthier people are at work, the more productive they are and the less sick days they will take. So it is in an organisation's interest to encourage staff to participate in health and wellbeing programs. They can sometimes be a bit hit and miss, depending on whether staff engage or not, but they do provide additional benefits to staff in the workplace. According to the Australian Human Resource Institute, many organisations have adopted employee wellbeing into their HR strategies and have gone so far as to implement ongoing wellbeing initiatives. Some of the most common initiatives include employee assistance program, yoga or meditation, stand up meetings, walking or running groups, healthy eating, i.e. a fruit bowl, flexible working arrangements or staff social functions. For example, where I used to work, we introduced subsidised massages for staff once a month that were held within the building. So it was very convenient for staff to attend and of course it also minimised the time you were away from your work. I remember that when we introduced them, one of the outdoor crew who worked in construction was very critical and commented that massages were a waste of time and he wouldn't be paying for something like that even if it was subsidised. Now interestingly enough, we convinced him to try one and after just one, he was a total convert. He was the first one to book in and there were two choices, 30 minutes, which would cost the staff member $10, or 45 minutes, which would cost the staff member $30. He booked a 45 minute one every time, which cost him more, but he admitted, due to the hard manual labour components of his work, the massages really helped his body recover and he felt better overall with his health. The phrase work-life balance gets bandied around a lot, but what does it actually mean? Well, it is a little bit like what motivates people. It will mean different things to different people, but Wikipedia defines it as a concept including proper prioritising between work, your career and your ambition, and lifestyle around health, pleasure, leisure, family and spiritual development. This is related to the idea of lifestyle choice. Seek have come up with the following.